Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2024 Mathematics. Today, I will explain you how you can solve the question number 26 with the help of the shortcut TWIG. Now, if you look about the statement very carefully, what you noted about that. The first one is, it should be the partial derivative. Second thing is, the function should be the differentiable. Fine. And what is implies to you? What does implies to you? Anybody remember that? This is the condition of the homogeneous function. That means f is my homogeneous function. And the homogeneous function has degree 3. Fine. Now, just very simple. What come in your mind when you are talking about the partial differential equations and the homogeneous function? That is the Euler equation. Fine. So, if you have the two variable, then you must remember that my different my Euler equation will be Euler homogeneous equation is n into f but right now how many variable you have there are the four variables so how you can con write the four variable homogeneous differential equation this plus x2 del f upon del x2 plus x3 del f upon del x3 plus x4 del f upon del x4 which is equal to n into f now the point is given you as a point p fine because your target is to find the function values at the point p now i can substitute it what is the x1 value of the p 1 this is my fx1 at the point p plus x2 value is 1 over 2 function value at the point p plus 1 over 3 function value at the point p plus 1 over 4 function value at the point P. What is my N? N is my 3, that is a degree. What is the F of P? F of P is my 6. So it is 3 into 6. Now your target is to take this. I can take the LCM. It will be my 12 X1 into P plus 6 del F upon del X2 into P plus 4 FX3 plus 3 FX4 divided by it is 18. So what is the right answer of this problem? You can see it will be 18 into 12. So what is the right answer of this? 216 is the right answer of this problem. So you can see you have to read the statement. The first thing is the homogeneous. Second thing is the partial differential. The only question arises in our mind is Euler homogeneous equation. And this is for the two variable. You can extend them to the four variable and you can get the right answer in a simple manner. We will see the next lecture very soon. You will see, scan and join my WhatsApp group for the various discussion parts. Till then, best of luck students. Happy learning.